I have to save this wig. Thaddeus Stevens' wig is emblematic of why he chose to speak out for the downtrodden and the disadvantaged in some ways. You could, we could compare him to a, uh, a Martin Luther King, uh, a Frederick Douglass, people who had a, a real mission to make a change in people's lives. There's no question that he was very principled, he believed what he believed, and he was willing to fight for it. He's never going to be a likable person. He, he wasn't then, he isn't now. But he was right, and he did change America. I understand he was pretty cantankerous and pretty blunt. The breadth of what he did is in a lifetime is uh, incredible. While he was in, the, in Congress representing Lancaster County, he was probably the most powerful legislator there. He was responsible to a large degree on the enactment of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution. And what a lot of people don't realize is that he also was responsible for the 14th and 15th. He, he affected political life in his time in ways that no one else did. He didn't see himself as better than other people. So when he worked with people, he worked in partnership with people. He didn't work as if he was someone who was bending down. The wig. Well, before I knew he had a wig, I've seen pictures of him, and I often noted in the pictures uh, uh, the incredibly poor hairstyling. I didn't realize at the time it was a wig. I don't think it's, it's as awful as it's been portrayed. It's just a wig. I'm, I'm beginning to go bald. I think I'll get a Thaddeus Stevens wig when I go entirely bald. As the mayor of the city of Lancaster, I implore you, save the wig. Remember, we must save the wig. Save the wig. Please save the wig. <laughs>